There's no shortage of noise at Pioneer Courthouse Square. Cutting through those city sounds on Thursday were the vocals of Portland's Ray Gordon. I cut my mojo working. I think that music really not only speaks to us, but it brings us together. As a performer, Gordon missed these interactions with a live crowd. It's family, and, and when you don't see family, there's a loss. There is hope. There is hope. Kristen Bowden is a close friend of Ray's. She's also the project manager on a song called It Will Not Last, made possible by musicians and volunteers giving their time to something bigger. It's hurt a long time now. When my lows are low, they're really low. And I can listen to this song, and it, it will bring me encouragement. But you're still far from fine. September is Suicide Prevention Month. The cause hits close to home for both Kristen and Ray. The song, available for free on YouTube, is meant to start conversations. So I just want people to know that you're not alone. Even myself, I felt that way. When I was younger, I just didn't want to go on. And I am so glad I did. Working on this project and working through this song has also given me um, personal hope to know that my own uh, issues I could get through them. You can also purchase the song online for a suggested donation of $1. All proceeds from the special recording benefit the Clackamas County chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Keep the conversation open and for anyone that is struggling, understand that there is a tomorrow. There, hold on, hold on, reach out and know there is a tomorrow, please. What I want people to take away from this is, one, you're not alone, two, you're not less than because you have these feelings. And three, it will not last. Will not last. In downtown Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.